Hey guys, and welcome back. Did you see the new cards spoiled from Strixhaven? I can't wait to join a wizardly college. The colors of the Prismari are so pretty, and the alt art demonic tutor has me so hyped. But what college are you hoping to join? Let me know in the comments down below. I also wanted to let everyone know we have a TCG affiliate link. And if you ever see a card you want to try or are inspired to brew something new, use our link when purchasing and we will receive a small portion of the sale. This is a great way to show support for the channel and really helps us keep making videos. But enough shilling, time to get back to the video. All right, block there, kill that. Oh, that is trample. Guess I'm just dead on board. But who do we have for this week's game? Well, starting off, we have Porfs. I know, it's surprising to finally see him go first. He's brought his favorite underdog CEDH commander, Anno on the Ruin Thief. This rogue deck relies on powerful CEDH cards and tribal synergies to outvalue his opponents. Next up is every commander player's grown test. Stars has brought Urza. This mono blue stacks deck uses lots of fast mana and cheap artifacts to power out Urza, and stacks effects such as Winter Orb to slow his opponents down before assembling an infinite mana combo of his own. Third up is Lutz, who's brought another new commander combo. He paired Krom and Tevishzat. This Grixis combo is more of a mid-range version of an Adnaz Thassa's consultation deck. He had been waffling between this and Silas Wren and Rogak, but with all the hate pieces out there, he thought this pair would get a better result. And lastly up is E, piloting his signature CEDH deck, Marath. This Naya Control deck looks to use creature-based stacks cards along with Marath to slow down his opponents until he can assemble one of his own combos. But without further ado, let's get on to the gameplay. Orf starts off the game with a snow-covered swamp and passes. Stars plays a foily island and then a mana crypt. But not done with the ramp, he then plays a Sapphire Medallion and an Aether Spellbomb, and finally an Urza's Bobble. Lutz also has quite the turn one. He plays an Underground River and then casts a Mana Crypt of his own. Not wanting to be outdone, he taps the Crypt and uses one of it to cast the Soul Ring, and then a Paradise Mantle. Not wanting his mana to go to waste, he decides it's worth it and he casts a Hull Breacher and uses the one floating colorless to equip the mantle to it and finally passes after that. E plays a taiga and then uses it to cast a carpet of flowers and Porf laments the fact that he didn't have anything to play. God damn it. You guys with your turn when played 25,000 things. I hate you. E moves to his second main and gets a green from the carpet. He uses it to cast an Addison's Pilgrim and in response, just wanting to do something Porf flashes in a Thieves Guild Enforcer, and mills everyone for two. Surprisingly, something interesting actually happens. Both Strays and Lutes mill the exact same two cards. Uh, holy shit, same. Really? Really? What are, the ch what are the chances of that? What? Porf plays a Drowned Catacombs and heads to combat. He swings the Enforcer at stars, and then on a second main phase, he sacks it to a Diabolic Intent to grab a card and passes after that. Stars starts off by winning his Mana Crypt trigger. He then plays and cracks a Flooded Strand for another basic island, and then casts a Tormod's Crypt. He follows it up with his commander Urza, and it resolves. He gets the Construct, and then begins tapping his rocks for mana. He then transmutes a Muddle the Mixture to grab a Power Artifact and passes after that. Lutz wins his Crypt Trigger and then plays a Reflecting Pool as land for turn. He casts his commander Tevish and then plus twos him, gaining two Thrall tokens and passes after that. E activates the Carpet of Flowers for two green and then plays and cracks a Flooded Strand, but cheats by grabbing a Forest, which he should not have been able to do. He uses the Floating Green to cast the Fertile Ground. He enchants his Forest and then follows it up with a Collector Oof and passes after that. Orf plays a Tainted Isla's land and decides to just go for the win. He casts a Thassa's Oracle, but he has an answer with a Pyroblast to counter the Thassa. Sad he didn't get the win, Porf follows it up with a Mana Vault and passes after that. Thars starts by winning his Crypt Trigger and then taps his rocks for mana and casts a Transmute Artifact. But thinking nothing good can come from it, Lutz responds with a Negate, and Stars fires back with a Miscast to let his spell resolve. 
Stars then sacrifices the Tormod's Crypt and pays the difference of two mana to grab a Grim Monolith. Luckily for the table, the Collector Oof stops him from activating the Monolith for mana, and Stars passes after that. Lutz wins his Crypt Trigger again, and then on his main phase, he plus one Tevesh to sacrifice a Thrall and draw two cards. He follows it up with a Preordain, scrying one to the bottom and drawing the other, but not finding an answer to the Oof passes the turn. E plays a forest's land and then activates the carpet for white. He uses it and his lands to cast his commander Marath, leaving one white floating, which he uses to cast a skull clamp. He then heads the combat, swinging the oof and the pilgrim at Tevesh. Lutz doesn't block and the Tevesh drops to four loyalty and E is done after that. Orf plays a cephalid Colosseum as land for turn and then casts a Thada Adele and passes the turn. Star misses his Crypt Trigger and then casts a Pongify, targeting the Collector Oof. Not wanting to just lose, E responds with a Silence, and with his floating mana, he pings Porf's Thrall. The Silence and Pongify both resolve, and E gets an Ape, and Stars passes after that. Lutz finally loses a Crypt Trigger and then casts a Jeska's Will. He gains the mana and exiles the top three of his library, these being a Demonic Tutor, Final Fortune, and a Shivan Reef which he plays as land. He then casts an Ad Nauseam, and in response, Porf casts a Demonic Consultation, naming Pact of Negation, not knowing if he even runs it in his list. He starts exiling, and turns out, in fact, he does not, as he exiles his entire library, and the Ad Nauseam resolves. Loot starts revealing cards until he hits a Tainted Pact. With the Dockside he drew, the Demonic Tutor for Athassa, and the Tainted Pact, he then wins the game. Game review. Sorry for another short game, but I still thought it was interesting. I think that everyone really got off to a fast start, but Lutz's was just too crazy. Unfortunately for the table, the Collector Oof stopped the Urza player, and he really needed to get rid of it to combo off, bringing Lutz's mana back online while also draining the table of interaction, so Lutz had free reign to do whatever he wanted. It was pretty crazy though that both Lutz and Stars milled the exact same two cards off the Thief Skilled Enforcer. Does anyone know what the probability of this was? If you do, let me know in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay, and if you did, leave a like and consider subscribing, as it really helps us keep making videos. And remember, never give up, even if you're dead on board. I'll see you guys later.